Right, let's be clear. The future we were promised, flying cars, jetpacks, moon holidays, never arrived. Instead, we got cars that beep and slightly better engines. Disappointing, right? But just as hope fades, the Japanese deliver something wild. A new wheel, a big one that you sit in. Meet the Poimo. It sounds like a cartoon, but it's a real rideable sphere. Imagine a motorized hamster ball for humans gliding through city streets. It's not a car, bike or scooter. It's a giant orb of engineering genius. It looks like a prop from a retro sci-fi film, but it's here now and it's real. This isn't a prototype locked away in a lab. It's a product you can actually buy. The Poimo is a bold challenge to a century of boring car design. Four wheels, engine, seats, yawn. The Japanese engineers tossed out the rule book and started with a sphere. At first you laugh, it looks absurd, an adult rolling past in a giant ball. But then you realize, no doors to dent, no hood to scratch, and it moves in any direction. It can spin on the spot, turn in tight spaces, and suddenly it's not so funny, it's intriguing. Could this ridiculous bubble be the answer to urban commuting? Maybe this is the moment personal transport gets interesting again. The Poimo isn't just a new vehicle, it's a statement. It's a two-fingered salute to the car industry's endless tweaks. Instead of making cars smaller or more electric, they made something entirely new. The laughter fades, replaced by curiosity. Is this the future of getting around cities? It's not about speed or power, it's about rethinking how we move. The Poimo is here to disrupt, to make us question everything we know about transport. It's bold, it's bonkers, and it might just be brilliant. So, could this be the answer to our commuting prayers? For the first time in decades, personal transport feels exciting again. And it all starts with a giant rideable ball. Let's take a closer look. The Poimo is a tough, semi-transparent polycarbonate sphere. Think riot shield material, not a fragile toy. Inside, a single, gyroscopically stabilized seat keeps you upright and comfortable. You're not bouncing around, you're calmly suspended as the world rolls by. The whole thing is just 1.5 meters in diameter, tiny compared to a car. You could park three Poimos where one SUV sits. The interior is minimal, a seat, a joystick, and a digital display for speed and battery. No glove box, no trunk, no clutter, just pure, simple transport. Power comes from electric hub motors built into the sphere, fed by a lightweight lithium-ion battery under the seat. The result? Near silence just a gentle hum as you glide along. No engine noise, no exhaust, no fuss. The design is brilliantly simple, few moving parts, no transmission, no exhaust, no complex engine. Maintenance, plug it into charge and you're done. The Poimo isn't just a new shape, it's a new way to own and use a vehicle. No more endless repairs or complicated systems, it's stripped down to the essentials, motion, comfort and ease. In a world obsessed with complexity, the Poimo is refreshingly simple. It's designed for the city, for people who want to get from A to B without the baggage of traditional cars. The engineers reimagined not just the vehicle, but the whole ownership experience. Simple, efficient and smart, that's the Poimo. In a world of overcomplicated cars, sometimes less really is more. And that's what makes this sphere so compelling. Here's the magic, gyroscopes and smart software. The Poimo's gyroscopic stabilization keeps your seat level, no matter how the sphere rolls. Hit a bump, your coffee stays put. Control is simple, a joystick. Push forward to go, back to brake, left or right to glide sideways. Rotate the joystick, and you spin on the spot. 360 degrees, no problem. Parallel parking, just slide in sideways. The onboard computer makes thousands of micro adjustments per second, balancing and steering for you. There's no learning curve. You just get in and go. It's not driving, it's gliding. You flow through traffic, not fight it. Safety? You're encased in a tough shell, like a giant crash helmet. The low center of gravity and gyros make it hard to tip over. Top speed is capped at 30 mimpi, perfect for city life, not highways. It's safe, stable, and surprisingly fun. The Poimo is built for real urban speeds, not fantasy road trips. It's a new way to move. Smooth, intuitive, and stress-free. And it might just change how we think about getting around. Now the real shocker, the price. The Poimo costs just $2,500. That's it. No hidden fees, no endless payments. For less than a decent TV or a holiday, you get a brand new futuristic ride. It's so affordable, it's almost disposable. This price opens up personal transport to everyone. Students, workers, anyone priced out of car ownership. No petrol, low insurance, minimal running costs. For the cost of a few months rent, you own your own vehicle. Businesses could buy fleets. Delivery drivers could glide silently to your door. The possibilities are endless. Commuters, students, tourists, the elderly. The Poimo demolishes the financial barrier to mobility. It's a direct challenge to car makers who keep adding features and cost. Do we really need heated seats and a dozen airbags for city trips? The Poimo says no, just simple, efficient, affordable transport. 
Why spend $30,000 on a car to sit in traffic when you can glide past for a tenth of the price? It's a wake-up call to the whole industry. The Poimo isn't just cheap, it's a revolution in access. And it's going to make a lot of people rethink what they really need from a vehicle. Is the Poimo better than a car? It depends. If you need to haul a family, a dog and luggage, forget it. It's not for road trips or towing caravans. But for city commuting, it's unbeatable. Cars in cities are big, polluting, and mostly stuck in traffic. The Poimo is small, nimble, and emission-free. It slips through tight spaces, parks anywhere, and keeps the air clean. It's surgical precision versus brute force. For the daily grind, the Poimo is a revelation. It won't replace cars everywhere, but in cities, it could make them obsolete. And that's a game changer. Imagine a city full of Poimos. The roar of engines replaced by a gentle hum, cleaner air, quieter streets. Cities become more livable, less space wasted on parking and wide roads, more room for parks, people, and green spaces. Car parks could become housing or gardens. The Poimo could revolutionize last mile transport. Hop off a train, glide to your door, ride sharing transforms, summon a pod, hop in and go. The whole network becomes more efficient and personal. Of course, there are challenges, regulation, road use, hills, but these are good problems to solve. The vision is compelling. Cities designed for people, not cars. Cleaner, quieter, more efficient urban life. Getting around becomes seamless, not stressful. The Poimo could end the car's dominance over city design. It's a future worth aiming for, and it all starts with a sphere. So is the Poimo genius or madness? Critics will call it a toy. Limited range, low speed, can't haul furniture, but that misses the point. It's not trying to be a car. It's an alternative where cars fail. Cities. It's a specialized tool, and at that it excels. Radical design, incredible maneuverability, and a shockingly low price make it disruptive. It challenges how we think about mobility and ownership. It's bold, ambitious, and a little mad, just like all world-changing ideas. My verdict? It's both. Glorious madness and profound genius. The most exciting thing in personal transport in decades. If I lived in a city, I'd buy one in a heartbeat. What a time to be alive.